Hi folks, John with the Antique Harmoniums. Tonight we're looking at the Atlas SB36 classic microphone stand in chrome. This is a stand you will see in the photographs of your favorite big time studio. I was lucky enough to record the first Antique Harmoniums album in five different facilities and all of them had this stand so when I went to build my own setup this is one of the first things that I thought about getting although I didn't really have a justification for it at first and I'll get to that in just a second so let's just take a quick look here this is a supremely sturdy stand this is solid metal that is very very hard this base when I was putting it together, it weighs 20 or 22 pounds, I forget, all by itself. It's just crazy sturdy. That's not going to tip over. The casters, rubber, very hard rubber, very sturdy. They roll very nice on both tile, carpet, rugs, what have you. I chose chrome because it just looks classic. It also comes in pure ebony, which I think would entail um, this coated metal here. I'm not sure about that, but uh, the chrome is actually, I think, a little bit cheaper. I may have that backwards, but anyway, uh, here's the counterweight. That weighs at least two pounds, as I recall. You have your knobs here. The only plastic on the whole stand is right here on these adjustment knobs and I think that may actually be coated metal as well but I'm not sure. Travel up to where the mic would actually be housed or uh, attached and for some reason right here that is a knot. Obviously it's not a handle. You have to use a wrench to move this adjustment when you're changing the angle of your microphone. I don't know why they would do that, but uh, there must be some rhyme or reason. It seems to me if something's loose on this arm, that's trouble no matter if it's there or if it's here. So anyway, this moves very nicely as you can see. Very easy. Now, I talked about the justification for spending 300 or north of $300 on a microphone stand. Well, I didn't actually spend that much. I lurked on Sweetwater for a couple of months or so, and they put it on sale for $249, and that's shipping included. And you can do the same thing. Just go out there to their deal zone and, and watch. I, I don't work for Sweetwater, so it's not a plug uh, for them in any, um, uh, you know, manner of trying to, to promote them. They are great though. Um, Musician's Friend, B&H, they also have, them, have it on sale. So I didn't have a justification for buying this stand initially, but this is what did give me justification. That's an M149 Neumann microphone. This is a heavy, heavy microphone. This weighs two pounds. I just walked it back to a scale and weighed it just to be sure that I told you some accurate numbers. This is the shock mount. That also weighs a pound. So right off the bat you've got three pounds of dangling weight before the cable even gets attached to it. So in my mind why would you take a four thousand dollar microphone and hang it off of a, a flimsy K&M on, or on stage tripod stand. Not that those are bad stands, but it just seems ridiculous that you would put that much risk when you're trying to set your microphone up. So, for me, that was the, the justification. I mean, it's totally different if you've got, say, you know, a 57. An SM57, that's a different deal. That's probably going to hit the floor a hundred times in its lifetime anyway. But, a microphone like the M149 and the U87AI, which I also have, I don't want those hitting the floor. They can't, or they won't last very long. So, 
eventually I'm going to attach it there and then in um, this tiny den, believe it or not, I'm going to start recording vocal. So that's a quick look at the Atlas SB36 in Chrome.